Yes, welcome back to Easy Gates Gate 22 Instrumentation Paper Solutions. The next one is also the level, but it is very easy based on electrical measurements using electrodynamometer type watt meter. Okay, problem number 55. Yes, that's what the given circuitous. So given a balanced three phase three phase power supply, so that means uh, the given sequence you can by default take it as R Y B sequence. Given the line to line RMS voltage is 440, that means you can take VL is equal to 440. Okay, so then based on uh, what what meter demands, take the necessary data. Given the capacitors 0.8.2 microfarad and the frequency is 50 hertz, so it is going to offer the impedance 1 by J omega C. That is impedance. So since it's a balanced load, so the neutral current will be zero anyway. So you can take this as a R phase and this is your B phase and this is your Y phase. So what is the voltage actually falling here is going to be V or N. So for that, definitely you need a phase voltage. And what is a watt meter sensing means? It's V or Y. That means a watt meter potential coil. It seems to be okay, even though it is not clearly shown, but still you you can go by habit. So it is sensing potential coil of this is a potential coil sensing VRY and the current coil sensing the current IR. So it's all about the phase current IR. It's all about the phase voltage VRN and the line to line voltage VRY. This is what we need to answer the problem. Okay. So you can find the R phase current by using VRN and the impedance offered by the capacitor. So first let us find the impedance offered by the capacitor. So what is the impedance offered by capacitor? It is going to be one by J, that is one by omega C at an angle 90 degree will take, that is a minus 90 degree because J is in denominator. So what is one by omega C, omega C, so is going to be one by 100 pi into 8.2, one by 100 pi into 8.2 micro, that is going to become 10 power six. So that is the impedance. So the impedance is going to be 10 power 6 by 100 pi into 8.2. Hope I'm right. Omega 8.2 micro. That is okay. Then at an angle minus 90 degree ohms. That's the impedance offered by this. But this I can go for the R phase current. R phase current is equal to the voltage VRY. Voltage, sorry, VRN is the voltage across this capacitor. So VRN divided by this impedance. Okay. So will go for that okay so that is the current in the current coil so this is the representation so we are looking for ir and then we are looking for vry so this is the potential already taken that is vrn so what is vrn it is going to be 440 by root 3 at an angle 0 degree okay and then ir will be so let this is some impedance is that okay it is offering some impedance we'll go with that so ir will be equal to your VRN divided by this impedance. Okay. That's your IR and VRY we need. That's a potential sensed by the watt meter potential coil. This is your watt meter. Okay. Roughly it is mentioned in the earlier diagram that's equivalent. So what is VRY? VRY is equal to line voltage is given 440 at an angle. So as per the phase sequence RYB, you can take it as RYB phase sequence. R is reference phaser, reference phase. So 440 by root 3 at an angle 0. This is 440 at an angle 30 degree you will get. So that I will straight away take it. Okay. VRY will be 440 at an angle 30. Okay. So then IR, I have to calculate. IR will be equal to, it is 440 by root 3 divided by the impedance. This is angle 0. So this impedance is, okay. So is that, that is nothing but 1 by J omega C that is already I'll take it shortly now we'll substitute the values later once again so it is going to be 1 by J omega C 1 by SC so it is going to become J omega C straight away so 1 by J omega C it is going to become J omega C it's fine okay so 1 by J omega C is the impedance so V by is that so J omega C that's fine that's your IR so that means it is going to be IR is equal to 440 divided by root 3 at an angle because of the J, it, is really, it will become 90 then into omega C. Let me take this way. 440 by root 3 into omega C. Let me take this way into omega C at an angle 90 degree. Let me take that's my current. So that's a current through the current coil. This is a voltage across a potential coil. So then we can complete the problem. Okay.
so that's how we need to proceed so we got the current ir we got the voltage vry then we'll straight away focus on watt meter reading okay so watt meter reads what that's a question yes watt meter reading is what the reading is going to be potential coil rms current coil current cause of angle between the potential coil voltage difference current coil current. that's a basic of watt meter reading so the potential coil senses line voltage so it's 440 volt straight away and this is the current okay already calculated 440 by root 3 into omega c so 440 by root 3 into omega c we'll use omega c later and cause of phase angle between them so potential coil sensing the vry its angle is 30 degree and current coil since it's a purely capacitive load definitely the current should lead by 90 degree that's correct so its angle is plus 90 degree okay so with respect to the uh, vrn so vrn is at an angle zero that's magnitude okay so then this is your irn irn so this is at an angle so plus 90 and then this is your vry so that is at an angle magnitude so at an angle 30 therefore the phase difference is only this that is going to be only 60 degree phase difference so it is going to be 60 degree cos of 60 so then the reading is going to be 440 square divided by root 3 into omega that is 100 pi into the capacitance value c is given take that value 8.2 into 10 power minus 6 Into cos of sixty, that is point five. So this will give the answer. So the answer is yes. The answer is one forty three point nine seven two watts. Is the correct answer? So up to how many decimal places? Numerical answer up to two decimal places means it can be yes nine seven. So the answer is correct. Answer is one forty three point nine seven is the perfect answer. Very simple problem exploiting the fundamentals of electrodynamometer, watt meter. It senses its reading is purely based on what is the potential coil voltage, what is the current coil current, simply cause of phase angle between. the current coil current and potential coil voltage that's all okay so that's a simple problem and probably uh, many gate aspirants might have correctly given the answer okay so thanks for watching do subscribe our channel we'll update you with the next problem